Another interesting effector is formula. For assigning the cloner, uh, just uh, I want to say, it, please uh, uh, look at the tutorial one by one. I explain first the plane and then other um, effectors because uh, these are they, they have a lot of similar uh, properties that I don't want to explain each time. Select the cloner, then formula. As we can see, it's automatically assign the formula to your cloner. And it's, it has an animation. As we can see, you can define the formula animation here. It animated the parameter in its here. As you can see, it's uh, an, uh, animated the scale and uh, uh, turn it all of them off. And as you can see, you can see. But I want to uh, give the formula to Y axis and you can see it now. Okay, it's so nice. As you can see, we have a formula. This is a sine or cosine uh, waves. If you select a formula in the effector here, you can change the strengths. You can give the selection. I explained it before. So I explained it before. The interesting part is here. It's a formula. It's a sine or cosine or tangents. You can use any for example, cosine, and here it's changing. Is the variables here? You can change the. Uh, you can search and uh, define any formula. Formula here. Uh, for example, if you want more amplitude, you can add a, a number here. Uh, sorry, two. Uh, multiple. Uh, multiple cosine it means uh, we have more amplitude here this is an t project time it means you can change for example increase or decrease the speed of this animation or if you want to more um, slower you can uh, do it uh, this is an frequency actually you cannot change it here because yeah this is an frequency of your file yeah this is an frequency of your uh how many waves frequency uh, means how many waves do you want to see or you can uh, increase this 360 for more wave and as you can see we have more wave so the frequency define how many waves do you want so you can change this formula, you can search the internet and uh, assign any uh, formula that you want. In a parameter, you can change the parameter also in any direction that you want. But it's actually, uh, you can see it better in one direction. Or you can also uh, change the scale of that, as you can see. Uniform scale here. Interesting. And I explained it before. Uh, in some uh, settings, in some effectors, does not does not mean in this effector you have to uh, give it to the one object. I explain. I uh, explained it before. These, these are the variables you can change it if you want. And of course, we have a follow here. You can assign this formula to a specific uh, part of the cloner with uh, defining the shape of the follow -off with a linear box and other that I will explain them later in separate lessons because they are very important and they are anywhere, uh, sorry, they are yeah, there are anywhere in Cinema 4D, any comment in a deformer, you can see the field. In a cloner, you can see the field. In lots of other comments in Cinema 4D, you can see the fields that they do one work. Controlling the strengths of that comment with a shape, linear box, capsule, or anything. That you define that there has their own setting. Okay, this is a formula. It's very easy. 
and yeah okay hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release